Caleb. I know something is brewing in that head of yours. When I said I didn't know how to help Marissa, I saw your wheels turning. Come on. Is this about JR? Is this about something you want to do to him? A revenge or something? Life's not just about revenge. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Touchdown. <laughs> party you wants to celebrate, party you doesn't. This is an ending. But it's also a beginning. Because we are free to start our lives. Nothing can stop us now. You are absolutely right. To us. To you. A good man who not only runs half of Chandler Enterprises, but a man who truly loves me. What more could a woman want? Listen to me. I would marry you again and again. I lived for you and AJ. Besides, I got big plans for our future, for the company, for this family. And all those plans, you're right there by my side. That's where I want to be. Good. Because I have an offer for you. Now, I know how disappointed you were with the bar exam. I'm going to take it again. But you don't have to. Since we've acquired Cortland Electronics, we're expanding our legal department and... With all the projects that we're launching, uh, you could be involved with some really cool stuff. I'm not Annie. Okay, I'm not so desperate for a career that I need nepotism. No, happen. that's not what this I is said no. about. I'm gonna make it on my own. On my own terms. Hello? This is she? You, you know that I, I didn't... Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Thank you so much. Uh, Who was that? A, a, a job interview. Yeah, but what about the bar exam? I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. They said they wanted to meet with me right away. Well, who is it? It's some firm that I haven't even heard of. I, I really don't even remember sending to them. Oh, I've got to get changed. I mean, I have to look professional and... Hey, hey, hey. Knock him dead. Hmm. <laughs> Here, baby, listen. I'm going to make you some tea. I want you to come sit with me. Okay, here. Mm. It's out of the way. Jesse, I'm sorry for shutting uh, you out, for, for, for being stop, edgy, stop. impatient. You do not owe me an apology. So just drop that now, okay? After what you've been going through, I still can't believe you've been living with this all this time. How? Carefully. Has it happened at the hospital? Oh, my God. How the hell did you get through that? Well, I was stubborn at first. You know, I thought I could power through it on my own, and then Jake figured it out. So we made a deal. I would stick with the administrative work, and Jake would be there to have my back, or I would call him if I was in trouble. Jake knows. He's the only one. D Jesse, please try to understand. I... Until I had a clearer view of what I was facing, I, I, I needed someone who could look out after me at work, a, a doctor, a, a friend, someone that I could count on to protect me and make sure that David never caught on. All those conversations I had with Jake. Jesse, 
I begged him not to say a word. It should have been me. I know. Tell me about this medication. It could, it could work. Well, my most recent exam and uh, culture test indicated that it was helping. The attack on my, my retinal cells, they've slowed significantly. Oh, that's great. Just... The baby, don't... Don't be afraid, all right? There is hope. God would not... He would not give us a gift just to take another one away. It's just that simple. No, baby. It's not.